Hey guys, welcome back once again to my channel. Today we are playing some more Star Stable. Guys, I have a whole checklist of what we're gonna be do what I wanna do. And let's still let's get started. Fucking job. Uh, you never live till you risk your life. You wanna shine, you gotta get more eyes. Am I your lover or I'm just your vice? A little crazy, but I'm just your type. You want the lifts and the curves, need the whips and the furs and the diamonds I prefer. In my closet, his and hers. Hey, he want the little mama see the margarita. I think the egg got a little jungle fever. Hey, you want more than something boring? Legs up and tongue out, Michael Jordan. Uh, go exploring, something boring. Bust it open, rain for us if you pouring. Yeah, kiss me like you need me, but me like a genie. Pull up to my spot in Lamborghini, cause you gotta see me, never leave me. You got a girl that could finally do it all, type of album. Hi, Justine, I'm so glad that you're here. I could really use your help right now. What happened? Sad. Someone stole my trophies, every last one of them. Um, all the prizes I won from all my competitions, all gone. You wanna help me from the beginning? You want. You want me to tell you from the beginning? Okay, but there's nothing much to tell. When I got here this morning, everything was just like normal at night, and so I set up this pole, the pole race as usual, cleaned up a little bit, and got a cup of coffee while I waited for all the competition crazy, all the competition crazy riders to show up. I had a bit of spare time, so I thought I'd get some stuff done in my wagon, you know, organize some stuff, a little, a little, a little stuff. This and the and I can't see. Organize some stuff a little, and it was the, and then. Where's my shirt? When I got here this morning, everything was just like normal, so I set up the pole pen. <laughs> when I got here this morning, everything was just like normal, so I set up the pole bending race as usual, cleaned up a little bit, got a cup of coffee while I waited for all the competition, competition crazy riders to show up. I had a bit of spare time, so I thought I'd get some stuff down in my wagon, you know, organized and stuff a little bit. And it, and it was then I noticed that something was wrong. I kept all my things in that wagon and someone had been in, that woman had been in, in, in his trash at all. But it was only when I tidied it that, uh, that I noticed all my trophies were gone. The thief must totally, he must got totally gone away by that point. I had no idea who it could have been. The only thing I know is that he or she must have been here during the night as I checked out the wagon before I left yesterday. Everything in, everything looked fine. If you, if I have seen any other clues, nah, but I haven't looked around that closely. Wait, there's something on the ground, some kind of footprint in the sand. Maybe it's a clue, Justine. You'll follow the trail of footprints? Good. Okay, good luck, Justine. Hope you find the thief. Okay, so. Let's go. I have braces, as you know. Paper bands. So, let's go. But what was there? Maybe the thieves. You decide to follow them. You know, I don't know if there's for prints, but after these ones, you put a little bit of green fabric on the ground, you pick it up. Oh, this is the. I think that I know what this one is. Hey. There weren't any footprints to follow? Huh, sigh. I suppose there's nothing we can do. I suppose there's nothing we can. I suppose there's nothing we can do about it then. What? You found a piece of fabric? That could be from the thieves' clothes? Mm-hmm. Justine, I don't want- I don't know what we should do with this little piece of fabric. Maybe it's an important clue, but all this business with mysteriousness and thieves isn't really my thing. Maybe you can chat out with Jenna about it instead. She's smart. If you and her work together on this, I bet you will find out who stole my trophies for sure. Please? Thanks, Justine. I think I could trust- I, I knew I could trust you. My trophies are so important to me, so I'd be grateful if you could find them for me. Thanks, and good luck. Oh, oh wrong one. Oh. Hey, Justine, how's it going? What? What's that? Someone stole all of Joe's- 
Ugh. What's that? Someone stole all of Justin's trophies? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, there's a thief on the loose to Moreland. I've had my suspicions for a while now, so it's no surprise. I just don't know how we'll find out for sure who the thief is. If you find any clues, come back and let me know. So, now what? Oh, I need, yeah, this is that one quest line. For sure. Hello, Justine. Why do you look so angry? Huh? Someone stole my flesh baked pie earlier. Brazen. <laughs> Don't begin to describe it. It's probably that Tian or her friend Loretta who took it. Why, I think? Well, just a few days ago, I, Tian was asking her if I could, if she could have a little piece of pie. I said to her, I'd probably. I, my fingers fell. I said to her, I'd happily offer a pie in exchange for her popping, popping out. I haven't to grab my mail up for me yet since I'm not quick, as quick as on my feet as I used to be. I guess what she did, she screwed her face up and said she wanted a, the whole pie and that I should be happy someone wanted to eat my disgusting pie at all. And I got my broom and chased her away. She disappeared as fast as lightning off in the direction of Moreland Stables. Ooh, I don't remember being uh, angry in a long, good, good long while, Justine. Rather a refreshing little feeling as it happens, but a little uncomfortable, but I'm not one to get angry, really. You're gonna ride and ask him if she stole, pie, stole the pie? Thanks, Justine. That's nice of you. If I did it, if I did it I'd surely get as... If I did, I'd surely get as wound up at, as last time, and I think I... I been angry enough to last me a few decades ago. <laughs> Thank you for following me, young Justine. Yeah. Now let's go talk to Tian. What pie? I haven't taken any pie from that old grainy. Nobody likes her pies. Anyway, they're gross. Ha. Huh? You're just a nasty witch. No, I'm no thief, Justine. I swear. Must have been some. Must have been someone trying to set me up, Loretta. No doubt. Why I think it's Loretta? I got a really cool brand new watch the other day from JB. It's so perfect, so awesomely awesome. Anyway, Loretta was totally jealous, just like I thought she would be. Ha <laughs> ha. Never thought she'd sink so low as to steal it from me. She won't even admit it, and it's like she's so out of line. Do you get me? Now, she, now she stole that pie from Mrs. Holdsworth, and it's all just because she's just so jealous of pie of me. I mean, she's gonna talk. You're gonna talk to Loretta. Um. Well, good luck. Whatever. Just, just tell her I want my watch back. Else, back. Else, we're not BFFs anymore. That's so cool. What? Tans, I'm a thief? I didn't even touch a thing. No way. I, my, no gross old crusty pies. No trash you watch either. That's so. That's like so difficult. Tan loses her ugly, trashy watch and she blames me? Why would it, I want that cheap, ugly, pathetic, super mark, super mark watch anyway? She can't, she, she, I wouldn't even leave the house with that joke on my wrist. If, if she doesn't get that, then she's dub, double as dumb as I thought she was. And I wouldn't go near one of old Granny Holdsworth's pie either. It was actually Tan who wanted a piece of the pie. Versus Holder, she loves her dust steel pies, even though she never dared say anything. It's only when she didn't get any to stuff in her big dumb mouth that she started to sing they were horrible. Uh-huh. Like Tan, Tan, like, <laughs> like Tan's never gonna get any pie again now that she said that. What a dweeb. What who do I think? The watch and pie. Why do I think patch? What do I think the watch and pie in that case? 
Who, oh, who do, you, who, do, who do I think took this the watch in the pie in that case? Hmm, I don't know. But you have to tell Jenna that it wasn't me because Tana is totally, like, gonna spread it around like I am a thief. And that would, that would just be so horrible. Everyone knows Jenna, so... If she knows I'm in, if she says, if she, so, so if she says I'm innocent, then everyone will just go back to being fine. You won't tell her it wasn't me. Sweet, just seen things. I heard anything. Remember, I'm hey, just seen what? What can I help you with? Loretta says it wasn't her who swiped Mrs. Holder's pie, and she hasn't touched Tan's watch. I didn't even know anybody had stolen these things. So weird, Justine. Like, these things are missing are just a small part of a bigger, something bigger. I can feel it. Justine, come back if you hear anything else go. If anything else going wrong here in Moreland, who could be go talk to you? Oh, we're going back to Silver. Day to you, Justine. I'm afraid I don't have time to chat right now. You see, I promised to get these flower boxes finished for Jenna before sundown, and I'm already running behind schedule. Uh -huh, this hammer isn't right; isn't the right tool for these flower boxes. If these are to be the world class, then there's to be no compromise. I need my tiniest hammer. Why I'm running late? Well, I t I'll tell you about it if you pass me my tiniest hammer. Thanks. I suppose it's very. It's a very quick break, I guess, very quick break won't hurt, so let me tell you about it. Adela. The decidedly bizarre happening that delayed. Was this morning, you see, just as I was about to start work for the day, a strange man came walking towards the shine, the smithy, came toward the smithy with his hood up and sunglasses on. It's... It's too warm for, for a sweater, and the sun was hiding by clouds. So I thought it was peculiar. C G D. Anyway, he seemed quite quite lost, and asked me to go to Silverglade Village. I explained the route and headed head up the mill hill and head left at the crossroads. And he just looked confused, and he said he didn't understand. I couldn't quite get to grips with it. Surely my directions weren't weren't that unclear. Well, nobody can say that the Conrad Marsden can't give directions, so I decided to give him the best directions anyone have ever given anyone ever. I told him all about where exactly he should walk, pointing to the castle and telling its story and the importance of the lake mark on his rock couldn't be possibly forgotten, so that he could be definitely be 100% certain. I told him actually everything about the history of the castle from Jan Jarl's time to the present day. I even took the I even took seasonal and weather conditions into account when calculating his route. It took me an entire morning to describe it all to him in this level of detail. The instructions were truly a masterpiece, so that no soul could ever have misunderstood. When I turned to ask him if he had any questions, he disappeared. I guess my directions were so precise and so delicate detail that he didn't even hear, didn't hear anymore. And, yeah. Alright, Rose, you can stay right here. Justine, this is about absolutely one of the weird worst days of my entire life. I'm not about to be able to, to deliver an order on, on the agreed time. It's the first time ever. 
Would you be able to give Jenna the terrible news that her flower boxes won't be finished today? Thank you, Justine. Now you must excuse me. I need to come. Yeah, Jenna won't care. Alright, Jenna. My flower boxes are delayed. What flower boxes? Oh, flower boxes! Yeah, I asked Conrad a while ago to make me some flower boxes, but I'm pretty sure what, I pretty much forgot all about them. Oh well, it doesn't matter if they're late. It was mostly just just a bit of fun. Any special reasons Conrad's running late? He gave direction to some odd man that he couldn't find in one of his couldn't find one of his hammers. You say? Weird. I'm not sure. It just it's just a cool, it's just a condition, Justine. Something is fishy going on here in my land. Well, if you find in here any more weird things, come and tell me. Hello. Justine, I think there's a thief on the loose in Marland. You think? Conrad's hammer, Joseph's trophy, jo I think Joseph, Josh's trophies, Tan's watch, Mrs. Holbrook's pie are all gone in a mysterious way. It, it, oh, right here. I said condition. It just can't kind of be a coincidence. You agree? Mm hmm. Something in their stories should tell stories should tell us there's who the thief is. I could feel it. Do you remember what they all said? Conrad said he was visited by a mysterious man. It must have been the thief. Fortunately, Conrad also said the thief had a hood and a dark glasses, and which means he couldn't tell us any more about the thief. Look, and then we got the green fabric. Yeah. Justin, I think the story from the witnesses might give us a few clues about who the thief the thief might be. Help me remember Help me remember what they said, whose story we should go over. I reckon the thief was hungry and could smell Mrs. Holford's freshly baked pie. Mm. In the, t the temper temptation must have been too great, and the wind must have blown towards the sea. What do you think? It must have mostly likely been like that. The thief hanging around, hanging around. I don't know why I did that. Just the what I was thinking. The beach is a smack. Bang between Mrs. Holdsworth's place and the sea, so the thief must have been been there. Justine, I think this okay. Uh, let's go with Josh's. Justine, the fabric you found at Josh's place must be from the thief's clothes. What color was it? Green. Of course, the fabric was green. It must be in the the green cloth. Let's see about on green cloth on um, clothes on. Good could that good that you remembered that, Justine. The blacksmith blacksmith said that he did didn't see the thief face, but maybe he doesn't that doesn't matter so much. Conrad gives us a good description of the rest of what he saw anyway. Do you remember how Crook looked? Exactly, the thief wore a hooded sweatshirt and had dark glasses. You are, you've got great memory, Justine. That's obvious. Uh, I think we've cracked it, Justine. Now we know who the thief is. Who? I know. Ha, of course, it's obvious when you think about it. Okay. Just you need to almost figure it out. Figure out where the thief comes from, right? Exactly. Dark horse camp down by the beach. It's has been one. It's it just has one, been one of those shady types who are always hanging around down there. I told you, one dark horse GD. I think they're the same. Thing. They have green hood tops. They always wear dark glasses. Plus, when the wind blows, everyone on the beach can smell Mrs. Holford baking. 
We've seen everything points toward the thief being some crook involved with Dark War. Now we just need to think, just need to work out which of them what it was. You could hardly even tell the difference between them, so I would, so I don't suppose it will, it will be easy. Hmm, what do we do? There is no obvious plan here, but I think the best we can do is this. Justine, you ride down to the Dark Horse camp on the beach and see if you can find any more clues. If anyone tries to tell, stop you, tell them that you'll ring the police. They are unhelpful. Why we don't just bring the police right away, straight away? Well, I don't think the police have that much of a chance in this case, do you? I'll take the time for I'll take for I'll take the time to get here. Hmm? Do you? I, it'll take oh, it'll take time for them to get here, and by the time they arrive, the thief will already made a getaway. Our only chance is to try to solve this ourselves as quickly as we can. Ride to the beach, just eating. Good luck. On to the beach, I guess. Oh. Um, what do you want? You're looking for the for a thief? No thieves here. Dark Ford does not tolerate any illegal activity, especially if not illegal, especially not illegal activity that gets you caught. Mmm, forget, forgot. I forgot I said that last bit. Get out of here right now. No. Hmm. Hang on, you're one of the, you think one of us are the thieves? Huh. Watch out, girly. If you don't get out of here double quick, I'll call the police and report you for trespassing. Huh, what do you say to that? You think I should go ahead and call them? Uh, okay, well, I forgot. Forgot it. Forget it. We don't need to get the police involved. I'm sure we can sort this out between ourselves. Mm. Just you and I. What was? What do you have on your mind? You say someone stole a thing from a bunch of different people in Moreland, and all your clues point to being someone from here. I understand. But it doesn't sound like you've got any evidence, or have you? Or, ha or you have fingerprints, pictures from surveillance cameras. I see you've got no evidence at all. Haha! <laughs> what a shame. You know what? I'll take a closer look at these. Perhaps there's something in. This guy's dumb. Uh, you never live till you risk your life. You wanna shine, you gotta get more eyes. Am I your lover or I'm just your vice? A little crazy, but I'm just your type. You want the lips and the curves, need the whips and the furs and the diamonds I prefer. In my closet, his and hers. Hey, he want the little mama see the margarita. I think the egg got a little jungle fever. Hey, you want more than? You want more than? Sign boring. Legs up and tongue out, Michael Jordan. Turns around, he sees me. Did you hear that? Grr. Oh well, seems there's a thief here at Dark Horse Camp. You were right. I could probably use a little help catching him if you wouldn't mind helping. Great. I have added a tip off that he'll strike again tomorrow. I'll come back then and I'll I should have some more detail. If I come back tomorrow, guys, have a great night. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.